c'est le focal clear MG. C'est une chose de beauté, n'est-ce pas? Au cas où vous ne le saurez pas, Focal est une marque audio français haute de gamme. Tout comme mon accent, qui est probablement comme de la musique pour vos oreilles non françaises en ce moment. Néanmoins, Focal est très fier de écouter sa la clear originale avec des problèmes avec un son plus grave et des grosses risques que sa production dans le milieu est à haut de gamme. Alors ils sont pensé que mettant les casquets sur des suppléments de magnésium, ces péchés seront absous. Eh bien, dans ces vidéos, nous allons vérifier les spécifications, parler des avantages et des inconvénients et avec lieu à la fin. En fait, trop long par le, j'ai une relation amour-haine avec ces trop, mais je ne reparlerai après ces postes. The Focal Clear MG is a set of open back headphones. Unlike cap earphones or fully closed, the sound will travel outward, giving you the impression that the sound is spacious and giving your tunes just more room to naturally breathe. The downside is people around you will hear everything you're listening to, for better or for worse, I guess. 40 millimeter magnesium domes now over the original clear, which has been discontinued. That, that one had like aluminum magnesium hybrid domes, but check out the workmanship on this thing. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my word. 450 grams altogether, $1,500 for this thing. It's, a, it's actually on the cheap side on the Focal catalog. So yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. Solid aluminum for any metallic surfaces you see right here. And this one is finished in chestnut, kind of like a rose gold or something. There is a black metallic looking one that's called mixed metal. I'm not sure if the leather is real or vegan leather, but regardless, it smells really nice oh yes microfiber ear pads breathe really really comfortably let me show you the case real quick at least this one looks really nice right it looks like a overpriced purse or merce or something at least it doesn't look like the sivga luan's butt case <laughs> remember that one uh, in terms of articulation you have the slider right here as really nice action and you have this little spring loaded for your ear caps but there is no like axis, this vertical axis twist or anything so you know it is what it is there is kind of limitation. Some people say the clamping force is pretty strong. I personally find there's no problem with this one. So again, your mileage may vary on this. The included cables, there's two of them. There's one in here with the XLR balance cable, really nice, 10 feet long. And this one is a four foot long cable that ends 3.5, 3.5 on this side when both ends. And on the other end, let me, let me just show you real quick. On this other end is the 3.5 and 6.5 adapter right there. So you can that, see that right there. It's really well made, but I think it's a little bit on the stiff side. It feels, yeah. The microphonics are pretty good, well controlled on this, but I think uh, for such a short cable, it could be a little bit softer. There are exactly three words to describe the sound quality of the Clear MG. Relaxed listening experience. And that's all you need to know about how these sound. And if you like warmth and intimacy, you probably need to find yourself a girlfriend. But for music, you need this. The links are down below, by the way. Just check it out if you want to get one right now and add it to your collection. But anyways, there is a level of dynamism and ease that suits jazz and rock the most. And the MG has a gift in bringing out the best in voices as long as they're in the low contralto range for women like Sade or up to counter tenors in men like James Brown. Somebody like Michael Jackson, on the other hand, if you can believe it, sounds slightly flat and lifeless on this thing. And if you look at this graph, thank you, Critical, for that, you can probably spot the recessed upper mid range that supports my impressions that warmth comes at the expense of detail in that particular aspect. I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not saying that the audio coming from the MG is dull. Far from it. Except that at this price range, I expected a little less compromise between the two qualities, not one over the other. For a luxury headphone, the Clear MG is actually easy to drive. That means you can run it off your phone if you want it to, as long as there is a good DAC on board. But then again, a headphone with good bones like this deserves more power. And the more power you feed it, the livelier it gets. So with a good amp, for example, 
vocals that blended with the band before suddenly become elevated and more pronounced and the spaciousness of each instrument just expands just a little bit more around your head which allow me to clarify that a little bit more because the mg could definitely use all the expansiveness it can get because the stage of the mg is quite intimate with the tuning pushing treble forward the soundstage size feels a little bit narrow for some like for me it does but then again, it works very well with the whole idea of a relaxed, intimate listening experience. Bass is forceful and dynamic with good extension. And there's no like straining when it hits the low notes and like say calls by the Robert Glasper experiment. Great song, by the way. But I don't know, guys, the bass feels less like the kind of thump I want to feel down in my throat and chest. And instead, the MG's bass feels more like I'm sitting near a subwoofer in a room, if that makes any sense. And some of you may like that kind of presentation, but I guess I've been spoiled by something like the LCDX with its lightning fast attack and lower extension.
は明け放つ秘密を暴くよう I'll tell you what, even a blind person can tell you that the MG is exquisitely designed. Why? Because every luxurious detail on this headphone attends to almost all the senses like your touch, your sight, your smell. To it, the distinctive honeycomb grille right here, that's a tactile delight, the aluminum center caps, the smooth flowing wishbone arms that are cool to the touch, the wonderfully made case that looks more like an expensive high-end tote bag, and the expensive leather shoe smell that wafts from the lowly accessories packaging. In other words, nearly everything about the MG ownership experience screams premium. Now would probably be a good time for me to explain why I have a love-hate relationship with the Clear MG, and it has nothing to do with audio quality or ergonomics or customer service. It all started one day when I was slowly placing this, trying to adjust it on my head like so, minding my own business, you know, and my right hand suddenly slipped. And the next thing I knew, the right ear cup slaps me hard in the face, knocking my glasses off my temple in the process. And it is after that when I noticed that the MG's honeycomb grill slash cheese grater had made contact with the lenses on my glasses and it created a deep gash that forever catches the light funny and bothers the heck out of me. You see what I mean? So ever since then, I've had conflicting emotions with the MG. I mean, I still respect it to death, but guys, sometimes the hurt is just too great and we probably need like couples therapy to regain the trust that we once had. Like the best Merlot or Cabernet from Bordeaux, these headphones that come out of saint Etienne come at a price. And sure, within the Focal catalog itself, the Clear MG, I would dare say, is probably the cheapest headphone that represents the house tuning the best. But outside of those walls, the MG's value proposition shrinks, especially when you bring in like similarly priced cans like an Aria or an LCDX. My final thumbs down has to do with Focal's decision to have the 6.5 to 3.5 mil cable, which is this one right here, to be not just only super stiff, but also twice as short as the balance cable included in the box. And I get that four feet is the ideal or average length for mobile listening, like when you have the headphone plugged into your phone or a dedicated media player with the 3.5 mil jack. But not when the cable is so stiff, it knocks on everything. And check out this kink right here. Go back to the beginning of the video and this is still here. It has not like flexed or relaxed itself or anything like that. This thing is almost as stiff as a stethoscope. Dude, the Magnesium Enhanced Focal Clear MG is very close to being the perfect chillaxing pair of headphones, I'll tell you what. Especially if you like something warm and full with a focus on the mid-range instruments and vocals, which seems to be a thing that the entire clear headphone range does. Now on the flip side, there are a couple of problems. The Clear MG is hampered, first of all, by its price. Yeah, if it were like three or four hundred dollars less, I would say go buy one right now. Which also leads me to the second problem the competition. At this $1,500 price point, I feel like Focal needs more sonic features to stand out because I can name a couple more that can pull the rug from <laughs> under the MG like for less money. Like for example, the Sennheiser HD 800 series, arguably smoother treble while still being energetic throughout. 
and then there's the lcdx as well if you want like micro detail and playful bass the odyssey has got you covered and both the lcdx and sennheiser come in under 1200 dollars nowadays and oh besides being fantastic at making buttery smooth sounds the clear mg this is something i have to add and this is something the two other two can't touch even if they tried the mg looks fantastic whether it's just laying there on your desk or sitting proudly on your head well, that's all I got today, guys. And thank you so much for checking out this episode, for joining me today. It really means a lot. And thanks to Focal for loaning me this unit. I wish they had let me keep it, but that's how they work. And I hope to get the Bathys next. They are Bluetooth, wireless, top of the line model. If you'd like to see that, comment down below, tell Focal to send it. And if you like what I do, thumbs up, subscribe down below, show your support, share this with your friends. Let's get the word out, evangelize it. And also check out my Patreon page as well as my YouTube membership if you like to support me financially. That'll be super awesome to get you more videos like this. And remember to do something loving and kind for somebody in this world, guys, because guess what? If you haven't seen the news, the world needs it more than ever, and it starts with you. I love you all very much. Peace out, and thank you for watching. Whoosh.